everybody it's shannon from monkey art creations let's see what we can do here i am going to attempt something and i hope i've got everything i needed i always forget something but anyways how's everyone doing so happy to see you it's been a little while since i did an actual painting tutorial or painting video called a tutorial somewhat for people that might be beginners i'm a little bit past beginner's point but really i'm still a beginner because i just started maybe i don't know i've painted quite a bit of paintings i got about 25 paintings and i need to get them all varnished so i can get them sold but anyways welcome to monkey art creations dedicated to my daughter chelsea um i always know that she's right here with me when i'm painting and I love her so much. And when I sat down today for Easter to paint, I said, Happy Easter, Amy girl, sit beside me and paint. So let's see how this goes, guys. Anyways, what my intentions are, I've got, I went ahead and did the background because that takes a minute. So I went ahead and did that. And I didn't have any light blue, as light as I wanted it to be, for my intentions of what I'm doing. So unfortunately, but not probably too bad, I used Apple Barrel, which is one of my paints. It's just a really, it's a very cheap, if you're wanting to start out, craft paint. And I've made some really pretty pictures with this. Mixed it with my Floetrol and actually a little bit of Liquitex gloss uh, medium and varnish, and varnish. So a little bit of all that mixed in to make this paint that is on my background here. What I'm going to attempt to do and hope that it works out <laughs> is I am going to do a string pull and what I'm thinking of doing is putting the metallic blue over top with some gold some maybe maybe these are the colors I've got out maybe some copper mixed in maybe some rose gold mixed in and maybe some it's just all metallics some uh sterling silver mixed in so all those other ones besides the all the the copper the gold no the copper and the metallic blue are artist locked it's metallics okay and then the rose gold the 24 karat gold and the sterling silver gold or excuse me sterling silver gold excuse me sterling silver is all the deco art americana so let's see what we can do here I have some string. It's different than what I usually use. Um, but I was hoping it wouldn't bend up on me. But where they wrap it around the little spool like this, it gets all bendy. So let's hope that it works okay for me. I should have stretched it out before starting, but it's okay. It's a nylon might work. You can pretty much use any string, any chain, anything you want to use. So I've got a few of those. And what I'm going to do is over here to the side... See if you guys can see. Oh, that might not be. I might need to slide it over. Nope, slide it this way. I don't know. Slide it this way so you guys can. Okay, where is my hand, guys? Wrong hand. There we go. So, yeah, you can see that side. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's hard to see this camera with all these bright lights in my face. Here we go. So, we're going to put some paint here. Bear with me today. Okay. So. I'm going to put some paints here, and you'll see the light, light blue under there, but this is a new um, piece of parchment paper I stuck down so that I could put some colors down. So let's get going. I'm going to pull it. I'm trying to think if I want to just lay the string out there or if I want to just do it. Yeah, I'm going to lay the strings out. I guess I'm going to do them one at a time because I'm trying to think I want to do this. Maybe I'm just going to put some color strips out and then we're just going to dip them in whatever color strip I decide to dip them in. Dip them in. So there's some metallic blue on that row. Let's put some metallic blue in the middle on this row. We're just going to do a couple rows. Put some metallic blue kind of all the way down this one. See what happens. 
We're playing around, guys. We'll see how this works out. We need one more metallic, metallic blue. So metallic blue is my main color going on top of this. So we want to put more of that. And I may want to dot it out like, let's do one more row. Slide this painting over a little. Hopefully you can still see it. Yeah, I want to make one more row. Oh, no, I can't. I don't have enough room there. I can make another row somewhere, I'm sure. Right here work. Or I can just do it a little at a time. Like this. We're going to do blue. Well, let me open it. Lord, I hope you didn't. I don't know if you guys could hear that. It sounded like somebody's roof was falling in or something outside. <laughs> Oh, I should have shook that. Darn, darn, darn. Uh, went runny on me because I didn't shake it. Well, then we'll see what happens there. All right, that one's running into my. That's running out of the. Running away from me. See there? Ugh, oh, it's because I forgot to shake it. Some of these you need to shake because they sit. When they sit for a while, you really you do need to give them a little shake. Not a lot because you don't want a lot of bubbles, but you need a little shake to them. And I forgot because I got ahead of myself. Okay, let's do this. Let's put some gold. Yeah, I want to do a really good gold one. So let's do some gold over here. It may not, it may not make sense right at this moment because <laughs> I'm all over the place, guys. But it'll make sense, I promise, when it's done. Um... That one I may have messed up. I may not even fool with that one. Okay, so let's put a little bit more metallic down here. On this one. I want this one just metallic and gold. And that's it. Okay, and then a little gold to end on this end. See what happens. Okay, now I would love to try some of this sterling silver. I haven't used it. And it may not show up real good on this light blue, but we'll see what happens. So I'm going to use some of it. Probably what we're going to do on this one is kind of just mix some colors in. And I did not mean for that much to pour out. And now I just slung it <laughs> everywhere. Lord, I'm a mess tonight, guys. I tell you what. Okay, now let's, let's stick some rose gold in that one. I think this one I'm, on, I'm wanting to try to do just like a little bit of everything on this one. And see how that one flower will turn out. These are all going to end up being flowers is what they're going to end up being. Oh, I did not want to mix. Let's throw some metallic back on top. Just a little. Just to kind of. And then now I want to put some gold on top. And now some copper. Now this one I'm going to dip in and mix some flowers. But these aren't going to be the main flowers. I don't think. This is a mess right here. But it'll probably actually look really pretty when it's done. Alright, now. That one I was planning on doing one of my shorter flowers with. Let's start. Let's start this one. So what we want to do is stick our this in here, and it really does not matter in what order this goes on there, just as long as it goes on the on to my string, like so. Okay. That one I'm going to leave there for a minute until I decide how I want, may want to do that one. We're going to test this out. Okay, the string is a little more down this way. Cover, we're basically covering our string right now. Sorry, my arm was in your way. With the paint. And then we're going to see what happens. We're just trying to get the string covered as much as possible with the paint. Then what we're going to do is take it and lay it across the best that I can my painting. And then we're going to come straight down. Okay, let's leave that one sit. Let's do this goofy one we did here. See how this turns out. <laughs> this goofy one's gonna have a lot of different colors all over it, but hey, it might be the prettiest one of all. We're just gonna run this all through it. Run this all through it. I want the metallic blue to be my main color, but we'll see what happens. 
trying to cover all of it, but to like the very end, so that it'll look out. This one I'm gonna put down just a little lower. Now you could do them one at a time. You could do them all at once, come back through later and do them again. There's all different ways, so we're gonna see how this works. I'm just gonna put like three flowers on there for now. Let them sit for a minute, and then we're going to, you know what? I want to see all these looks, so let's pull them. And you just want to pull it straight. Straight down. I did not get enough of my metallic blue, but it is still pretty. It's still very pretty, if you can see that. We're going to use this string again. We can. We may not be able to. I may not use the same string. I don't think I'm going to. Because I want it to be all kind of different. That one didn't quite go the way I wanted it to. But let's see how this one looks, guys. We're going to pull this one straight down. See how this one turns out. Yeah, this is giving me more straight looking flowers than what I really wanted. And I think it's because, either because I got too much paint, probably too much paint, or because this paint is too thick. Could be one or the other. There's where that silver splattered. Darn, darn, darn. Oh, well. We'll stick a little flower over there and cover that up. Okay, let's go with another one. Shannon. Okay, let's do another one in this paint. right here get it covered and then I wasn't thinking that you don't want this to be covered with a whole lot of paint but you want just enough paint so what you kind of might want to do get some gold dipped in there some gold dipped in but it's all getting kind of muddy now so I don't know how that's gonna look we're sort of scared to do this one so let's go with it kind of right over here Let's go with it right here. Let's just do a little guy right here. So we can get us kind of like higher and lower flowers. See what happens, guys. It may work, it may not. <laughs> we'll see. I'll touch up those spots that I'm messing up as I go. So there's kind of a littler flower. I like the way this one did at the top. Yeah, there's still a lot of paint on there. I could probably go twice with one of them. Let's go ahead and re-put some paint. I really, really like the blue and the gold. I can tell you could not see any of the silver. So let's do another blue and gold. Let me wipe my hands off. Do another blue and gold. Blue and gold only. That's this little guy here in the middle. Hey, more gold than what I used in the last one. Looks like I'm not using enough gold, huh? Let's get some gold mixed in through here. Oh, I didn't mean to do that much. That's okay. Come up here. This should be plenty of paint to bring the string down through. Might stick a tiny bit of copper down through it. If I can squeeze that lightly and just get a little. Come on now, I don't want a lot. Let's do it up here so don't. Oh, <laughs> it needs to be opened on it. Goodness, what a day. Okay, here we go. There. Okay, let's try this one, guys. Let's try this one. We want to make sure we get that gold on there. We want to make sure we get that blue. We try to be a little neater with this one. And just make sure you pat all that in there. And then get, you know, kind of make sure you got all your paint scattered onto your string. There's other ways of doing this. You could actually put it on there and go ahead and put the paint over top of it then. I've done that before. You know, you could do it all different ways, but. This is the way I chose to do this one. So, 
We'll see how it turns out. This is going to be another big one. So let's get this as long as we can. Down to the bottom. Let's get some gold down here. Possible. Okay. Let's try this one, guys. We're going to make a big one over here. Try our best to. Hopefully you guys can still see me. I know I slid it over some. Yeah, you can still see. Okay. So let's go ahead and lay this one down. Like so. And then you want to just kind of make sure it's all laid down. And you could actually lay your string down in the paint and then put your color on it then. It's another idea. But... I like doing it like this. So let's go ahead and pull it straight. You want to pull it straight and kind of as slow but kind of fast as possible so you get that really pretty. Now that one turned out beautiful. Had a lot more paint or something. I did something a lot better on that one there, I believe. Okay, let me look at this guy. What do we mean? What do we need to do? We need to probably stick one kind of diagonal here, and maybe one sort of diagonal here. We're doing one a little higher than the other, maybe. Hmm. In my mess of paint over here, I've got two more strings already cut. I cut more, but I think two more flowers is about all we're going to need, except for I may stick a couple small ones down here. Or maybe a small here and a small here. And when you do that, it's real simple. But let's just go ahead and try to stick this in the paint we already have. So we're not wasting paint so much. Get some of this gold on there. Yeah, I'm going to have to dabble some gold down through there. This is going to be a mess if I don't put what colors I want right on it. Okay, now that i got it laying down there, here's another way you can do it. To make sure you get your colors right where you want them. And your, and your, um, I got paint all over my gloves. I don't want it to get in, into the painting. And did you guys just see what happened there? Paper towel flow right, or in, right above my beautiful flower. So with that light blue back up there, hopefully that'll be okay. Sorry, sort of give it a little sprayed out look. <laughs> All right, I want to put some gold at the very top of this one. So we're gonna do that. This is how I'm gonna do this one. This might come out a lot more vivid. We're gonna try silver again. I'm gonna skip a little bit and go with some silver, maybe just a little bit right in this area. This helps kind of soak it in a little better. But you are using a lot of paint. So I do. And then let's go with has a lot of blue on it, I'll tell you that. We've got plenty of blue on there. <laughs> so let's go with some copper. I do copper? No. Let's go with some copper right here. On this one. And then maybe a little rose gold at the bottom here. Let me get some blue paint put on here. I'm making a mess of this. It's a lot. It can be a lot less messy. <laughs> I'm being pretty messy with it. We're gonna put some, whoa, that just squirted out on me. Goodness gracious. Get that on your string is the most important spot to, to be. And here the silver is not wanting to stay on the string. So I don't think our silver is really going to show up too good. All right, guys. Let's get this up on the string if we can. I didn't have another clean spot. It would have been better if I did have a clean spot, but I didn't. So let's go with this one wherever it fits. All right. Well, I'll say I was going to do one sort of diagonal, maybe all the way from the top until it reaches down. This one's kind of a smaller one. Oh, 
don't know how. I'm just going to do it, guys. Just going to do it. And we're just going to see what happens. All right, here we go. Mmm, I messed up that middle flower. We'll fix it, we'll fix it, we'll fix it. It's muddying it. We're going to have to bring another flower this way now because we just messed up that middle flower. Let me wipe this off and redo it. Darn, Shannon, darn. I should have known better than to go across it like that. That's okay. We'll figure something out to make it look pretty. I'm going to go with some blue down here. Majorly some gold. So that we can get some down here more. And I'm going to come across this way, guys. Oh, I don't want to mess up that other flower. We're going to go right over top of this one and hope we can fix it. Let's go right above it. And we're going to hope we can fix that little guy right there. If I do this just right, it will fix it. I just did not layer that quite right. Like I said, I'm still learning, guys. I'm still learning. But... As you're learning, you learn from your mistakes, as always. So, see how this one works out. If it turns out silly, then it turns out silly. I'll learn from my mistakes. It's really starting to look like it's just like a bunch of flowers together in one spot. There's so much paint still on there. I wonder if I could do a little loop of one with this paint that's still on here. Down here. And I'll tell you what I'm going to try to do when I do this one. You know what I'm really going to try? I'm just going to pull. There we go. See that? I should have just stuck with blue and gold all throughout, guys. What do you think? What do you think? Yeah, I'm recording. What do you think? Nobody can see that. It's sliding up. I can't touch it with my paint. Look. No, I'm going to have paint all over it. Good. You think it looks all right? Can I hear me? Yeah. What about going inside? <laughs> That was my son in the beginning being silly. Okay, where else should I put a flower, Braden? What do you think? These people can't talk back, so. Over here, maybe a little one or one kind of No. Coming? Maybe a little one right here. Okay. And then leave it alone? Yeah. Get paint on. How did I already get paint? <laughs> oh, get, white, get wet water in a rag real quick and you'll get it off. It's water based, it'll come out. What did I even touch? I don't know. I got put right here. I got paint everywhere. I'm so confused. <laughs> I got paint everywhere, literally everywhere right now. You probably touched right here, Brady. See the paint right here? Yeah. Did you get it off? Yeah. Okay. Poor guy accidentally got paint on him. We want to make sure what it has is one of his newest hoodies. So, and he loves those hoodies, I tell you. He'll wear it in the summertime in school. 
I mean, like, he won't even wear it. He won't wear it going to school. Well, actually, sometimes he does wear it going to school. to school. But, huh? I don't wear my hoodie all the time to school. And he wears it all day at school. So, he wears it. And look at what I did. I just touched it. But I can fix that with some blue here in a little bit. All right. Let's add some gold to this guy. I want some more gold in here, I think. Or rose gold, even. I almost want to go through that one and add some rose gold, but better not. Oh, see, it was a little thick right here when I first did it because see all this water in the way. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, they all do different things, so you never know what they're going to do when you do them. You just try your best and go with it. I made this one kind of big, but I don't really have much room to put another big one. And I do not want to mess up this pretty flower right here. So we are not doing that. Can I have so, Yes, if you can bring me one, please. You want purple or orange? Orange. You can have either one, Brady. It doesn't matter to me. I like purple. And get purple. It's fine. Oh, that didn't work out good. Look. That so did not work out good. Well, looks fine to me. Does it? No. Right, and no, because it has too much white. Yeah, it didn't put enough paint on there. I'm going to have to get paint somehow. Yeah. I don't have another one. I need to do another piece. Yeah, it's, uh, yes. Because it's square Easter. Remember we light our candle? We light a candle every time that it's a special holiday. Sorry guys, I'm just looking at this, trying to see what I can do. I really think I made a mess of it, to be honest. But, I wanted to get more, I think I'm going to cover this over here if I can. No strings. Oh, goodness. Goodness, goodness. I'm going to try to cover this the best I can with the blue and come back through. And redo this guy. We're going to try our best to come back through and redo this one. I think I need a fresh string. And that was another reason why that one went a little bit awry on us. Always can try your best to fix your mistakes. It may not always work the best, but you can try. <laughs> and hey, why not try? This is getting, this, this is probably going to be too much blue paint. I wonder if I can run some off. If I start running it, it might run. See what happens. I don't think any of my other paints are gonna run. I think they're pretty well stuck in there. No. I gotta run that off a little because otherwise it's just gonna do the same thing. Because if you have it too thick, it will do that same thing. So let me run some of that heavy pink or er, blue. What am I talking about? Paint. <laughs> blue paint off of there. This isn't exactly how I planned for it to turn out. But, it's alright. I'm going to go over here. You may not be able to see it as much. But I'm going to go over here and do me a little clean spot with a clean, the best I can, with a clean, you may be able to see me, with a clean uh, string, if I can get my fingers clean enough. And use me a, cut me a, small clean string Let's see what I can do here I think vinyl string would be better than this cotton string but I don't know it's really you just it's all trial and error for error for whoever's doing it you know you just do what you like I really like the chain pull because it sits down in your paint it's got that weight so it sits in your paint a lot better so me personally I really like the chain pulls because they're not as hard as doing your string pulls where you really got to work hard to get them where you want them. And that's a little long. 
don't even need it that long, do I? No. Okay. Now watch, I'll say it. Oh, that's too short. No. Because we just want a small one there. But I'm going to do it like this. The best that I can. And I'm just going to do a blue and gold. But do a lot of more gold than what I had in that first one over there. And we're just going to do it plain. Blue and gold, blue and gold, blue and gold. Okay. Blue gold, blue gold, blue gold. Here we go. This is another way of doing it, and I probably should have done it this way. Just kind of, can you guys see me over here? Yeah. Just kind of put your paint right on the string like that. That's actually a very good idea because it gets you right where you want it. Instead of mixing it all in, but it still works either way. You know, because I just wanted to kind of get just a sporadic look of the colors. Not be real specific but you can be as specific as you want with these colors so I'm going to do this way this time and get it specifically blue specifically gold all that it's probably save a whole lot more paint too if you don't make as big of a mess but what fun is it if you don't make a mess <laughs> what fun is it <laughs> uh, Something I haven't done yet on my channel is a reflection swipe, and I think that's going to be my next attempt at a painting. It's hard for me to do more than one painting a day because in my little makeshift studio is actually at my dining room because we usually eat at our little table things we have at our couches and stuff. So we eat it together, but we're out in the living room eating because <laughs> I have my son's, he's 13, so he's old enough to eat in there. So, you know, I made my dining room my studio, and then I have, like, shelves back here with everything on it, on my, can't show you right now, but, um, I'll try to remember to show you on the close-up, but just all my stuff back there, um, with all my things in it, so, anyhow, then I need, I've got all my pictures, all my canvases, all my paints, just the best that I can, it's gotten a little messy since I first made it, but. Okay, so now we're going to pick this up. It's going to be blue, gold, blue, gold, blue, gold. And we're going to do that one right here. We may need to, we may be okay to overlap this one a little because of the fact that it's going right into that other one like that. So hopefully we can get this one to pull out right don't think I got it stuck down in the paint enough. You kind of want to go across the top of it like this. May do a reverse dip flower next. Can't make up my mind. Being Easter has got me in spring coming up. It's got me in the flower mood. So, but anyways. Here we go. Let's try and get in this guy to look good. To make this pop a little Okay, my camera cut us off there, but anyways, I was saying, do another one and make it look a little better since I learned how it worked better and how it would be better to do it differently. And maybe get all my strings on there at once so that I'm not overlapping and making it look a little too much to crowd it in one spot. So anyways, there you go, guys. Some reason my camera stopped, but here we go. Before it stops again, please enjoy. Please subscribe. Um, make sure you hit that bell if you want to get notifications of other paintings. And you can follow along and watch me get better and better as we go. Um, but anyways, there's that. And like I said, the further back you get from it, the more prettier it is. The even, it gets even prettier. But anyways, have a great day, guys. And love you so much. Um, take care, everyone. Stay healthy. And if you need something to get through your grief and anxiety paint 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 anyways thanks guys for watching smile and paint